So the teams coming out finally. The referee today from Sudan, Mahmoud, Mahmoud Ismail. Cameroon on the left of your screens. Senegal, the champions of Africa on the right. And a lot of familiar figures in their side. The likes of Edouard Mendy, Khalidou Koulibaly, the captain. Sadio Mane, of course, and some rising stars as well. Lamine Camera, 20 years of age, really caught the eye on Monday. And we are underway. And I'm delighted to say that I am joined alongside me by a, a former Nations Cup winner, a man who knows what it means to win this tournament, Clifford Malenga of the Zambia, whose team triumphs that fairy tale triumph in 2012. Senegal again deliveries finding not a white head again but that's not the best clearance and there's a little bit of space now in the box low and hard and into the back of the net and Senegal have scored and they've broken the deadlock and they have scored a goal Ismail Assar it might have been a deflection but Senegal won't care because with 60 minutes on the clock Senegal the defending champions lead against Cameroon and that is just the sort of start they'd have been after. And now Lies will turn to Cameroon and what they can do to come back. But they just couldn't get it away in the end. Cameroon at the back. They had some chances. That was the first one of Gisa. Then this punch from Anana. Not good enough. Picked up by Senegal low and hard. And this will be the angle where we'll see if there's a deflection. I think you can clearly see there was one. And I think it came off Angisa on its way into goal. But a nice first touch here from Saar to set up the strike. Hit it hard, hit it well, and then off the inside thigh of Anguissa. Not a, a rare wicked, for wicked Onana. deflection there from Anguissa there. But Onana's punch there, not, not such a very convincing punch there from, from Onana there. Puts his team under pressure there, and the covering is also not so good. So in that case, you get punished, you know. So now we get to see how the Indomitable Lions are going to, to get back into this game. And we can stop talking about games with no goals. <laughs> <laughs> That's well won by Neo. Excellent challenge from him. Now into the middle, it goes just over the top, but Mendy comes out to gather and spares Abdu Jallo's blushes because Jallo mistimed his header. I mean, it is extraordinary, Lamine Camera, because he does play fairly deep in midfield. He's got six goals from his first eight internationals, which for a player who plays where he is rather than not an out-and-out -out striker, has said, is a remarkable record. But here he comes, 25 yards on goal. Look at the pass. Senegal could double their lead. But they can't because that's a terrific challenge on Mane, and it had to be as well. Like I said earlier on, the, the team that dominates the midfield is going to create all the chances, and that's what uh, Senegal are doing right now. And Cameroon is not pressing uh, the play whenever Senegal have in possession. They're allowing them to, to, to play those little passes, and, and, and Cameroon keeps dropping backwards, and that's going to hurt them. Nkudu. Now, that's a better ball in the middle, and Mendy spills it. But that was good delivery, excellent into the right area. And Mendy, well, that wasn't the smartest bit of goalkeeping from a former best FIFA goalkeeper of the year. Absolutely spilled under very, very light pressure. Lovely ball. Much better, that's what they need more of. Kudu again, deep in it goes. Ah, oh, Chatter, well, I think Mkisa got in his way. Habib Jallo just drifting his way into the box. Mane up against one. Going himself, finds Saar, the goal scorer. Saar just takes all the time in the world. He's going to drop his shoulder and he's going to try and sling this in. Is he? No. He's going to wait for support, which isn't exactly covering because uh, Nkudu did a good covering job on making sure Diata didn't have so much space, but then Diata has just glided into it. That's a nice ball from Jallo around the corner. Oh, well, he could have hit it. He didn't. Saar into the middle. They must make it two. And Senegal double their lead. And Habib Jallo finally has his goal. And surely Cameroon are beaten. And the defending champions are going to be taking this game. They are very, very good for their lead. And they have just doubled it. Look at how they are watching Senegal run through them. It's so easy for Senegal. Look at that. They're watching. They're giving space. Look at that. No one is tracking down their man. So easy for Senegal to, to, to get a goal. Well, it really was a brilliant ball in between uh, defence and goalkeeper. Anana instantly blaming the defence through the legs of the defender. Well, that certainly helps things in getting the ball into the middle. Look at that, right through Nuhu's legs. 
And that is a striker's dream and perfect timing as well because it comes just before the water break. So Aliou Cisse, I'm sure, will, might even think about shutting up shot, but then equally he might think about inflicting some more damage. Goal difference will be crucial when it comes to the teams going through in third place. They haven't looked convincing. No, well, they've taken it short on this occasion when they got some height in there. Swung in. That's a better ball in. And they do find the net with their first shot on target, Cameroon. And that was a terrific head-up. Castelletto, it is, who buries it past Mendy. Is the comeback on from Cameroon? Really good delivery, as you say. And he attacked it as well, didn't he, Castelletto? And that's going to make for a very, very interesting final few minutes, we hope. Cham, the other substitute, delivering the ball in. And a really, really good header low into the bottom corner. Textbook stuff. <laughs> Castelletto swinging it in as Camarugo in search of a second. And they were inches away. And out of nowhere, they could be back in this game. And it was in Kudu sliding in at the back stick. And suddenly, for the first time in the game, Senegalese faces are looking worried. Excellent flick on. Love the ball. Kudu the steaming ball. in. He just couldn't get it. Good flick on from Magri. Castelletto, who's beginning to put in some really good balls, and another one from him, and they're queuing up, and that should have been two. And the substitutes are off the bench, and they don't understand how that was missed either. But the Castelletto ball, it was absolutely terrific. One more time, and with the goal gaping, Cameroon could not get level. It was Nkudu again, kicks the post in frustration. Well, how did he miss that? What a lovely ball into the box. But Nkudu watched, he made a very good run and he watched the ball all the way from when it was coming to him. And he was so sure he had scored before he actually scored. How costly what will that ball. be? Oh, wow. Jackson, he just needs to hold it up for Senegal now. And he plays Ganage, overlapping down the right hand side. Jai's in the middle. Mane is two. Mane finds the back of the net and seals the win. And Senegal finally clinched this battle. 3 1 to the Taranga Lions. Killing off Cameroon's comeback. The indomitable Lions could have got level just seconds ago. And instead, Sajo Mane, with his first goal of the 2023 Nations Cup, has sealed the victory for the defending champions. And Senegal are going into the knockout phase of this tournament. Excellent cutback, excellent finish. This is high class football. You miss on one side, you get punished on the other side. It's about taking your chances. So Cameroon had a, a quick opportunity to, to draw level. They couldn't take their chance and they go get punished on the other side. Well, the recriminations will begin in Cameroon. They already started after the first game because they have been beaten by Senegal by three goals to one. The Taranga Lions, the defending champions, are through to the knockout round. It's very, very unlikely that anybody is going to catch them. They are looking very good to top Group C. Ismaila Sar kicked it all off after 18 minutes before Habib Jallo doubled the lead midway through the second half. And after Castelletto, of all people, reduced the arrears for Cameroon with a fine header. It was Sajo Mane who sealed the win following yet another sweeping Senegalese move to take Senegal up to six points in the group, leave Cameroon on one, and it has ended here in Yamasukro. Senegal, the defending African champions three, Cameroon, the five-time winners, one.